What is up guys, Snack Guy here, back for another video. I just got back from vacation from going to Hawaii. We went to Maui with my friends for a senior trip and we bought a couple things back, you know, just explored the island, relaxed, vacationed, you know, some souvenirs, whatever, whatnot. But anyways, that's not on the topic right now. We're back and we're trying to make some more videos for you guys to enjoy. And on the topic of this video, I kind of just want to settle back in and show you guys how I can ease back into the grind of reselling shoes. As I'm kind of maybe in the same similar position as some of you guys. Maybe you just guys got back from vacation. Maybe your mind isn't fully adjusted to working yet. So I'm going to go with you guys, right? I just came back. I have no inventory right now. But I do have some money sitting over from, you know, before when I was reselling shoes to buy some more inventory. Using that capital to flip some more shoes. So you guys can join with me in this journey. I already bought a couple of shoes while I was gone on vacation. And I just came home to check them out today because they delivered like a few days ago. And I, w I was gone for like one week, right? So it's been a little bit, not like a long time though. However, I feel like I'm ready to go back to it at work. We're in the middle of June right now. It's about to be July in like another week. And we only have a few months, like a month and a half left of summer after that starts. So we don't have too much time to get it working. And I know a lot of you guys have school soon, uh, at like around August, mid-August. So we have about a month and a half left of summer vacation still, if you're like around the Bay Area. And uh, we're going to put the most use to that. So let's get right into it. All right, so let's start this off with some of the shoes that I actually bought while I was away and they came when I got back. So first shoe is a Nike box. This is a, actually a Dunk Low. So these are the women's college navy dunks. So these are a navy grayish color shoe. Uh, same retail for all the dunks. You can see these laces actually didn't come with a bag, but do have extra laces that are white and the original ones are gray. Honestly, not too much to talk about these. They resell for around $190 on StockX right now. And I got these for 170. I would try to sell them for 190, 195. Cause honestly, these are a low profit shoe, but they're also very low cost, only 100 something dollars to buy it. So I'll take that. And um, these are a size 9.5. Honestly, a really cool bottom though. It's like almost a clear sole, but in, in person, it looks a lot more cooler. In the camera, it looks like completely white, but it's more clear and like translucent in person. So we got those. Another shoes we got these Jordan threes. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to say the name because they're really difficult to say, and I'm not even bothered. So, but they're the AMA Jordan threes. I don't know. They're like a really unique shoe that came out like a few weeks ago. Jordan three. These actually kind of remind me of the fragments because they're all white and stuff like that. But also a very simple design, like not too much going on with the color scheme here. I can't really tell what color this is, but there's like a gray suede here. And I can't, I can't really tell what color this is, like, in person, honestly. You guys don't have to tell me what that is. There has, like, a cream midsole right here. You guys can see that. But a very simple shoe, but surprisingly reselling for a good amount. This is a size 10 wide women's shoe. So that would be, like, an 8.5 men's, I think. And uh, these resell for, like, $400 right now, which is kind of crazy for a Jordan 3 that doesn't have much of a design. That does not really super hyped up collab. But they still look nice, so I can see why the value is there. I just did not expect this to be $400 right off the start. And uh, most sizes are actually above that as well. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these. These are sitting at $400, but I got them for $360. So I can make a good $40 from this shoe, which is a good margin, I would say. Because I do aim for around 10% margins. Or if it's a really expensive shoe, as long as I make a decent bit, I'm okay with that. Like, let's say the shoe is $1,200, and I make like $100, right? But if I can sell it the same day or sell it from the day, I'm still going to buy it. Even though it's not exactly 10%, it'll probably be less than that. I'm still making a decent amount of money uh, for not putting in too much work. As long as I have capital to buy more shoes while I have that shoe in hand, then everything should be fine. Because I know some people comments, you know, they're like, your margins are not worth it, blah, blah, blah. You're like making $20 for a $400 shoe. But it's basically like, as long as I can keep buying more stock, I'd rather be moving stuff faster than trying to sit around a couple of days to try to get a little higher margins for my shoes. Because then I would be sitting on inventory and I wouldn't be getting as many shoes cycling through the cycle. Like, if I could sell two shoes for 40 $30 profit, right? Instead of selling one shoe for $50 profit, I probably would try to sell two shoes for $60 profit. Even though it's only $10 difference, I got two shoes, which means I get two sales. So the sales also count because, first of all, each sale also can provide me another ref, another follower, another person I can potentially do business with, another potential connection. And in general, it's good to have more shoes in hand so you get an experience and you get an idea of what shoes will move better for you. And you, yeah, and you can put more, post more on your page to make yourself look more active rather than posting the same few shoes trying to get the right buyer and waiting a little while to get a little bit extra money right so we're gonna go with that then we got some easy uh foam runners coming up here i believe these are the minerals or the uh yeah these are the minerals so the easy foam runners if you guys don't know what they are they're like a croc style shoe um obviously from easy brand and uh, these are very lightweight i feel probably like a summertime style slipper almost slip on shoe like I said, like Crocs, they're really lightweight. This is like a size 12 or something. Now, these ones I got for a really good deal because 
these foam runners are really really hyped now in the market and some other places are like over the u.s market so you have if you have buyers from like other countries then you probably can sell these really high like i can sell these for basically like exactly at market or even higher than that like i can probably sell it for over stock x ask if i try to but i got this one for i believe like 200 and let me see how my stock this pulled up in background I, ha I got this one for around like 250 i think or 270 and they're reselling for like almost 300 so i think this is the better one yeah so i got this for 240 and i got sold this for 270 so i made a 30 dollar profit on this one right here and then i also got another foam runner so we'll grab that real quick this one right here i think this is a sand one or something because that has the tape on the bottom i think i'm gonna try to pull it out for you guys but if it doesn't come out yeah i might just leave it on because i don't want to like ruin it so maybe the seller wants to keep the tape on and stuff like that so i'm just gonna leave it on but these are a size 12 right here you can see that i got these for 265 and i also sold these for 295 so not a 30 dollar profit right like honestly it doesn't matter if you're not making big margins in terms of percent wise as long as you're making shoes flipping them actively and you're able to slip a few every day you can make 100 a day and that's not bad for something like a side hustle such as selling sneakers right because then that's like three thousand dollars a month if you get 100 a day for like a whole month all right let's move on to some things i plan on doing all right so anyways the day i got back home is literally the same day i'm recording this it's the june 22nd right now i got back at like 8 30 p.m right now it's around 10 30 p.m and you guys probably wondering what this thing on my wrist is if you guys saw it like this is basically just the hotel that i went to and see it's the grand Wale hotel right here they have to you have to require it to enter the pool there and i just have left on i haven't taken it off yet i'll probably take it off later because i have you have to keep it on you can't literally take it off like they tied it hella tight and uh you have to use it for every single day or else you can't really enter back into the hotel room or you can't really go to the pool there so uh that's basically what it's about anyways i actually got really lucky today on the way back before i went back to sf um on my flight adidas confirmed there was an app that basically releases for all the easy drops all the adidas drops and i got exclusive access to a few yeezys that released in the past and uh, i copped a good amount of them i think i got like five shoes i'm gonna do a quick like screen recording and talk over it to show you guys what i got but super lucky super blessed to win that because those shoes i'll have good profit in them and always get to get yeezys for retail especially when you can choose what size you want from exclusive access so let me just show you what i got real quick so if we open up the adidas app you can see we have all the orders here and you can see we have like seventeen thousand membership points because we bought five yeezys so that was a lot of money spent and you get like money for every point you got or something like that five pairs you guys can see here we got like the onyxes the sand topes we got the yeezy carbons we got the yeezy citrons and with the last one is the yeezy safflower so obviously we got all of these for retail prices super good deals because you can always make profit from each one of them and uh, that's pretty much it i'm waiting for them to come in right now because i'm hella excited to open them up all right, so here's a couple of shoes that we just bought. And uh, the reason why we're kind of buying a little heavy is just because I actually know that there's a sneaker con coming up in August in the Bay Area, San Jose. And I decided to get a table there with my friend. So we're splitting the cost of the table. And we'll talk about that a little more later. But sneaker con is just one big event where like a lot of people gather up who are interested in like sneakers or collectibles. And they like have tables to vend there. It's basically a convention where you can sell shoes and clothing and stuff. So I'm going to be vending all my stuff there. And I believe I can sell it for a pretty good price. But let's go over what I got. So we got some fire reds right here. I got another one right underneath. Those are size 11 if you guys want to buy any of these. Again, just DM WC Hype. I'll probably throw the tag up somewhere. I always put it in my videos, so feel free. Also got some size 10 and a half um, bread Yeezys. These are brand new too. Also have a size 12 in those. We got a size um, 9.5 women's. Uh, these are the College Navy Dunks. These are hella clean too. And honestly, the most important shoes I'm going to get for the event is probably Dunks and Yeezys because they are really hot recently. And probably some Jordan ones too, but mostly Dunks and Yeezys. And these are the Photon Dunks. So these actually just got restocked by sneakers in Nike app. So um, if you guys hit on these reservations like a few days ago, you guys can definitely get these up. Uh, this one's go for like $300, right? So I got this for like 240 so it was a pretty good price. And uh, some of the shoes I'll be holding if I don't sell in time for the event. And also, we'll be buying more and more. You can see we have a couple of shoes over there too that we're just holding up. We're going to keep buying shoes and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so what is SneakerCon for you guys asking who may not know? For those of you guys who are new to the channel um, and you guys don't know much about sneakers, you guys are here for my candy selling video. SneakerCon is this basically one big event that's hosted out throughout the United States and also through other uh, countries. I believe they have them in like uh, China too. And I don't know what other ones they have it in, but I know some cities they have it in that are pretty famous. It's like, you know, they have Dallas, Texas. They have New York. They have like, I think they have, um, what's it called? Uh, Oregon or something. They have a lot of different states and uh california bay area is one of them and it's basically this convention you can either show up as a visitor uh at, to the event or you can either become a vendor and to become a vendor you have to fill out a form online and just go through all that you know all the applications and stuff like that and you have to pay them so they can give them a spot 
where you can uh, sell your items, right? So for me, I'm going with two other people that I'm going to be uh, sharing a table with. And a table will usually cost a good amount of money because this event is very well known, very popular around the world. Which means that even if you're not going to take it, they know they can sell it at that high of price because they're going to know that someone's going to take it regardless. Like they're going to sell out no matter what they price it at because of the opportunities that can happen from SneakerCon. So the reason why someone would decide to go to SneakerCon is either one, they're interested in sneakers and seeing what kind of rare sneakers they can find and just the experience of it to, you know, get a feel of the event and say that they've been to SneakerCon. But for me, uh, one of the main reasons I want to go to SneakerCon this year is because two years ago, I already went to SneakerCon, but that was when I barely started reselling. That was when I was kind of new to streetwear, new to how like sneaker reselling works, right? So I just went there and saw some things and then maybe I bought a little bit of stuff and did some trades, right? But after that, two years later, or I'll just link a video, I'll put like a picture of what the video looks like up here in the corner. But here now, two years later, I've been reselling for the past year now. I built up my own little Instagram business. I've got a lot of experience under my belt now. And I want to see what it's like to be on the opposite end where I'm actually behind the table. Because I looked up to the people that were behind the tables when I was there two years ago. When I was a sophomore in high school, I just graduated, I just passed the sophomore year, going to junior year. And I was like, all right, you know what? It actually looks pretty cool. And then so I decided to resell after junior year. And I looked up to the people there. I was like, dang, this is a pretty fun business. This looks something that any teenager could get going and really like uh, scale up and get better at it and make more money. So I know that since there's going to be a lot of people attending this event, there's going to be thousands of people from both days. It's a two day event, Saturday and Sunday on July. Um, uh, what's it called? No, in August, like 20th or something. And since there's going to be a lot of people coming, there's going to be overseas buyers people from different countries, different states, people who own stores, being able to pay a very high premium price because they have all the shoes there for them in one location. They can cash out everyone they want. And the reason why I want to go is because not just to make a profit off the shoes, but you actually can be able to sell shoes for exact market price or even over market price. Like people will be charging higher than StockX ask price and people will still be able to get sales because there's people paying higher than your regular market. Because if you guys didn't know, resale market for different countries are actually, you know, different. Like for the UK, the US, you have Asia buyers. All the market for different shoes are all different prices because the demand in different countries is different. And that's just how it is, the basic supply and demand. If there's a shoe that's in way more demand in a different country, then it's going to cost more because they probably have a less supply and they have more demand. For here, if let's say we have like a Yeezy, right? And it's like a really highly popular Yeezy that's being restocked all the time. It's going to be low here, but and people don't really like Yeezys here, right? So it's kind of a low price. So if they have it in China and they actually... It's a very high value there because I know a lot of tourists in China, like they when they go to like uh, sneaker stores, they think Yeezy 350, they think Jordan 1s, right? They want to buy up the Yeezys. They may be able to pay higher for our Yeezys. So to our market, it may be paying really high, but to them, it's actually paying really low because on the other end, when they ship it back home, they're able to flip it for a bigger profit. So at the end, you guys both make money, you guys both win. And the table is like $420, but we split it three ways. So we paid around 100 and like, 30 each or something like that. I don't even know the math for $400. Is it like 130 each like that? And uh, in hopes of it, we had to stock up a lot of shoes. I hope to bring at least like 40 to 50 pairs. I think they're going to bring around 40, 50 pairs each. So we're going to have a lot of pairs at the table. And the table is only like six feet long because like, I don't know, they give you a really small table, but you know, it is what it is. We'll make the most out of it. Uh, my plan is that like every shoe I have to make profit on at least because to be honest, if you do split it three ways, it's not that hard to make back $130. You probably make that back with like four or five shoes sold considering how high you can sell stuff for there. And you can also network and connect with a lot of buyers there. A lot of store buyers, a lot of overseas buyers, make some connections that may help you out later on in life. Maybe you meet a good connection and they'll be always sourcing shoes for you. Maybe you'll make a connection where you'll source shoes from them and they pay you really well. It's a really good place to network with people that do the same things as you. And if you're interested in that stuff, which is like what I'm doing right here, I'm going to go to that event to try and make connections, try and make a profit and have a good experience, have a fun time because it's always something you don't want to miss out, right? It's like, imagine if you're like a real estate agent, right? And you go to this big meeting of other real estate agents that are really experienced they have like a lot of they make a lot of money they make a lot of sales you can ask them for tips advice on how to get better at selling houses and what you do same thing with shoes i'm just gonna go there get to know them see how they do their business and like just look and like you know visually like follow what they're doing like if they're doing something right and i'm not doing as good as them i can learn from what they're doing and then like try to follow them along okay so to wrap this video up Basically, over the next few weeks, all the way up until SneakerCon, all my videos are going to be about me getting ready for it, buying up shoes, how I'm going to price my stuff, preparing my inventory, and just building up capital so I have money there, and I'll have a lot of shoes to sell at the event. You guys can see in the back, there's already a lot of shoes stacked up. I already spent like a good like $6,000 on this inventory, so 
we're gonna keep buying more trying to get at least like 40 pairs of shoes so maybe 40 pairs of shoes could cost a little bit over ten thousand dollars which is gonna be hard for me to liquidate all at once but if it's at SneakerCon, i believe things will sell really fast and things will go really well so if you guys do enjoy this video please leave your like on the video down below comment down below also what other videos you like to see because i'm not going to just be only making these videos because i haven't uploaded in a while right so i'm coming back into the grind now i'm going to upload at least once or twice a week and this time i actually promise guys like last time i said it but things are also busy because at the summertime i had the vacation going on anyways really soon and i also wanted to resell a little bit so i was trying to fit everything in before i got to the, go well, on vacation but now that i'm back just make sure you do all that and subscribe if you're new here already i'll have to see you guys next time peace out